Nessus Network Monitor greatly increases your ability to detect all the devices that are communicating in your network. Results are automatically imported into the repository or repositories set up by the Tenable SC Administrator. It's best practice to use a separate repository for passive imports. If necessary, you can set up multiple repositories for imports for a single Nessus Network Monitor. For instance, if you have your Nessus Network Monitor set up to monitor IPv6 networks, you'll need to add an IPv6 repository in Tenable SC as well and associate it with that Nessus Network Monitor. When setting up the repository IP ranges for passive imports, be aware of what ranges you have filtered on your Nessus Network Monitor. The filters here will take precedence over anything set up in Tenable ISC. In this example, even if the Tenable SC repository is set up to allow all IPv4 IPs, only hosts within the monitored network IP addresses will be imported. By default, Tenable SC imports Nessus Network Monitor results every 60 minutes. However, you can adjust that setting to align with the report frequency set up in your Nessus Network Monitor. Do that in the System Configuration External Schedules. Just to set the poll interval to as low as every 15 minutes. Once everything is set up by the administrator, log in as an org user to see your imported assets. You can set up a dashboard that can filter on your repositories, or you can browse the cumulative and set a filter on the plugin type and choose passive. And if we change our tool here to IP summary. You have a good query for all of your passively detected assets. In Tenable SE, you can save this as a query, and it'll save all of these filters and this analysis tool. And then you can use that query in reports and dashboards, and you can drill down into the results of any of these. Now, you notice that most of these addresses don't have a lot of vulnerabilities associated with them. Uh, it's because they're only passively detected, so you just have network traffic to go on. However, now you have hosts that you know you can look further into and run a credentialed scan on for more information.